Gabo, what's going on, my dude? What's up? How what's up, doing? dog? Uh, I'm doing well. You know, something just uh, dropped, and normally we aren't like up with current news, like always looking at it. But recently, we just had a video where we talked a whole bunch of trash on the PS3 controllers versus the Xbox controllers. And funny enough, the PS5 controller just dropped. Let me. Finally, finally, we, finally. we, see, we see something of the hardware of the PlayStation. There it is, Gabo. The PS5. There it is. What do you think? What do you think? Well, I will say PlayStation, good job and try to imitate the Xbox controller, but <laughs> <laughs> not a good job. It looks, okay. like, it looks like a scuff, like the scuff controller. It does look like the scuff controller. I didn't think about that. I didn't even cross my mind until Jesus just said that. Uh, huh. It kind of looks sexy in some ways, but... It's definitely sleek. Yeah, but you know what I found? Uh, what? This is the first time that I see a main controller of a new console. Okay. With with uh, not a solid con uh, color. I'm trying to think if any retro colors no. or retro consoles might have done that. I don't know. They've always but been solid. Gabo, let me, let me read this before we dive too deep so that people aren't saying, oh, you guys are you know just hating or whatever. But uh, here's a little blip. <laughs> I just want one. I just have one, some, one thing to say. To what, is what is that? What is it? What is it? All right, check this out, Gabo. According to Sony blog post reveal, the Dual Senses, by the way, it's called the Dual Sense, aka the Nintendo Switch HD Rumble, uh, designs has now been finalized and is currently winging its way to developers, meaning it's ready for its first public showing. Now here, Gabo, is what they say. The goal this time around, says Sony, was to retain much of what gamers love about the DualShock 4, while also adding new functionality and refining the design. To that end, the PS5 controller features haptic feedback to heighten the feeling of immersion alongside adaptive triggers in the L2 and R2 buttons so you can truly feel the tension of your actions. And what they say is that it could be used to conjure the sensation of driving through mud while later might be used to enhance how it feels to draw from a bow or fire an arrow. What do you think about that? Do you think, okay, I, I, here's my question. I want you to answer this guy, but here's how I'm gonna ask it to you and then you answer. At what point is rumble or immersion within a controller actually immersion or just saying a really good rumble? Which controller you say? No, I'm saying like, what's the difference? Oh. Like how far can we really go with saying like you're getting immersion from a controller? Uh, for me, the closest thing that I experience is with the Switch Pro controller. The HD Rumble? And, yeah, and it, I will say it makes a difference, to be honest. It makes a, a big difference. So do you think this will be technically, the dual sense? do you think that will be better, in your opinion, than the HD Rumble? Or can is there a better, so to say? I would not, well, it's not going to be better because it's a PlayStation controller. But I would say, <laughs> I would say it would be better than the PS4 One, but I don't think it's gonna be something like the Pro Controller, or the Switch. Yeah, like the Switch Pro Controller. But again, I need to have the controller in my hands. Yeah, and and try it, and then I come with my conclusions. But for what I seen, it's like, eh, okay, you know, it, that's gonna be a standard in the next generation yeah so, so you know do you see. like do you like the look of it based off just the way it looks i didn't even think about the scuff until you said that but otherwise do you think oh, out of from a one to ten just physical appearance only judging by uh, its cover i got a mixed feeling to be honest okay. the first thing that i it comes in my mind when i saw it is a mass effect it looks like the oh my armor. gosh you're right i not yeah, i keep dude. not thinking about these things yeah and and also, uh, I don't know, dude. Uh, the second, the second tough is it looks like the scarf. Yeah. And the thirteen uh, is like it makes me think like Sony really, really are desperate. What do you mean by that? Explain. Because probably, okay, I know I'm gonna get some a lot of heat. But That's all right. Or that, but I don't care. What anyway? What? Uh, it looks like. Probably they know they're they're gonna lose. They're gonna look bad, and they're trying to copy 
Xbox controller. That's what you think. It, that's what I think. And, okay. and, and that's why it doesn't make sense that instead of showing the entire team, they're just showing piece by piece by piece by piece. Like, Couple like pictures. Yeah. Like, come on, show the, the console. The, we the haven't entire seen the team. console yet. Yeah. So, so for me, I'm thinking that they're like scared, desperate. And mm. okay. I don't. That, just well, that that's that's my own opinion okay right? okay remember that's what i always say that's, that's why, why we have, we have chocolate, chocolate and vanilla. vanilla yeah i yeah. get you are right, you ready for my opinion go ahead all right let me uh let me pull this up so i can show my uh -oh. opinion all right aesthetics alone let me let me remove this guy oh oh, oh let Whoa. me say something uh -oh. else go please ahead. please uh i don't know if i ever told you i told you guys that i hate the d-pad on the playstation controllers most people I, would argue that they don't like the xbox d-pad either though yeah but yeah so I, I i think and he's not fan he's not for being a fan of the xbox controller but yeah. you can see it dude look at that yeah no i get it all right go I ahead get it. all right uh first things first aesthetic for me i like the way it looks it's cool it's interesting to me that this part the white part looks smooth and then this part looks the black part looks more rubbery i'm interested to see how that looks uh this button the share button or whatever it's called i always forget um i hope i hope they utilize it because that's a lot of real estate yeah um, because in the ps4 there's only a couple of games that use it I've never been a fan of thumbsticks side by side. I've always liked them offset. So, but I know that's a PlayStation thing. And the last thing, why the heck did they not fix yeah. the triggers? Why uh, are they flat? Or from here, they might be a little curved, but bro, when I saw the triggers, I was like, come on, I, I get it. But I know there's a lot this. of people that complain about the it. The same. Wait, I can't see you. Hold on, let me see you. I'm on my main screen right now. Okay, show oh, wait. me. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's messed up. <laughs> hey, look at this. Yeah. I, I hate this. Look at Your this. Your fingers can slide off. Yeah. Yeah. And other thing I hate about this controller is you are playing, and if you're going to use the D-pad, I end up hitting this button, the, the shirt button. button. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, oh, the camera is over here. Oops. That's okay. And, and and I hate it, man. Anyways, yeah, dude. I don't I, know. I don't I, know. Like, like, go ahead. No, it's okay. I just, I definitely struggle with the triggers because to me, I've never been that big of a complainer about, you know, PlayStation 4 controller. Yes, I've clowned on the PS3 controller. Yeah. Um, but for me, my hands aren't as big as yours, so I'm not as stressed about that. But the triggers is what always bothered me most. Look at the difference. That. Look at the difference. And now I'm not, I'm not hyped on that at all, if I'm honest. Okay. Come look on. at the difference look at the difference with this one. Oh yeah See? dude i, I was actually and, oh you want to know the best example gabo i showed i sh oh yeah yeah you're right look, okay look at the difference of this controller and the ps4 ones the triggers you see the switch pro controller has the trigger a little yeah a little out hit. yeah a little out but see it doesn't have it doesn't make that stupid sound i'm hoping that the ps5 controller the angle is just a little bad and there's more of a more of an arch up i would like to have an arch up but it's funny i showed yeah. my daughter who is eight years old and barely barely a gamer by a long stretch when i showed her the picture she said aren't those supposed to be curved and i was like <laughs> well an eight-year-old saw it and she's she, that's the first thing she it, noticed it, it's funny because i show it to my wife and she said oh it's cute it, it's definitely pretty it's definitely pretty yeah but I don't know, dude. Uh, first, I think it's, uh, I don't know. They're trying to imitate the Xbox controller. And I, and I, I know people is going to be like, oh, it's because you're a fanboy. You're a fanboy. We, we love a PlayStation. The PlayStation. D-pad sucks. D-pad sucks. How do you really feel? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, in the end, I hope it's great. I really do hope it's well, great. Well, the, the reality is, I gonna buy it anyways. Of course, we both are. So, That's just reality. I, I gonna buy. I gonna have the two consoles, and probably the PS5 is gonna be. I gonna use it with the I don't know God of War or yeah, yeah. the exclusive game. Yeah. Like I I have my Spider-Man God of God of War PS4 over there, all dusty. 
and the rest of the game I'm gonna use in my Series X. Yep. So that's the reality. Yeah. But right. I, I, I would say, I would say like, I would say like for now, nice try. I'll say so far, so far, so good. Really hoping the angle on those triggers is just the angle that I see in the photo. And I'm hoping it's actually much more curved than that. Or what I see in the medias, in the social medias, I, I, I see in 50-50. There's people that they're super happy and they With, love it. Go ahead. With that, I promised if I posted a picture of it that we would read a couple of the comments. Oh, oh go ahead. Said. So listen, yeah. this is just me. I'm gonna spitball and gabble. We don't need to respond you know, keep it drag on. We're not trying to uh, stretch out a video like some some people say people do. We don't want to be those people. Uh, some Someone said, what a way to announce Detroit become human too. Uh, Richard Vinci <laughs> says, looks like, McDon looks like a McDonald's Happy Meal toy that turns into a robot. Mm, someone says they need, they just need to copy the Xbox controller already. Swap the analog and D-pad, please. Yeah. Someone said, looks like an armor from Mass Effect. Oh, see? Uh, the Death the Death Star called. They want their stormtrooper back. Oh, <laughs> that's good. Uh, I like the controller a lot. Uh, I like how they keep saying it's revolutionary idea. Uh, nah, he's, he's not going to be revolutionary. So people gonna... say it looks comfortable. They like it. Never been a fan of the internal analog style, but the overall aesthetic seems cool. So it's mixed. There's mixed mixed it's feelings. Mixed. It's yeah. mixed. Yeah. Yeah. Gabo. Anyway. You know what might not be mixed? How do you feel about this, Gabo? Tell me this right now. Ready? Go. Ready for this? Resident Evil 3 also being remade as a board game. What? Do you, do you like board games, Gabo? Are you a fan? Uh, like Monopoly. <laughs> Monopoly. I love your accent, bro. It makes me happy. That's how you say it? Monopoly. Oh, whatever. But actually, Monopoly. Do you understand? I understand Mon what you're saying. Yeah. Mon Mon Monopoly? Yeah, Monopoly. Yeah. But it looks like it says Capcom isn't just remaking Resident Evil 3 as a video game. There's also a board game adaptation in the works. It's being made by Streamforged Forged Games, and it's a Kickstarter, though. Uh-oh. And a Kickstarter will go live later this month. Uh, you maybe think it's weird to be running, blah, blah, blah. Basically, they're saying it might be a weird time to run board games. But actually, here, board game prices it's, and sales are up because of the quarantine. It's perfect time. Here's what it looks like, Gabby. Let me zoom into this for you. Oh, it looks cool. So it looks like, yeah, it has Capcom's license on it. I but, mean, uh, I'm not into board games, but yeah. the the real Resident Evil collectors yeah. need to have that. Yeah, and it's a Kickstarter item. I don't want to dive deep into it. I've never been one to either support or not support Kickstarters publicly because I know some go bad, some go good. I don't want people to be think we're swaying either one way or another. Wait What's a there? minute. Yes, sir. Do you, do you already see the Series X controller? Yes, I have. And what 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 is your take about it? Uh, I like here actually. We we got time. <laughs> Funny enough, check this out. There it is. There you go. I See, like that D pad. They change it. But one thing I forgot to say in the other video about controllers. Yes. Did you know? Well, there's a lot of people that doesn't know that you can change the D pad. Yeah. A lot of All don't those know. people that are, oh, the D-pad sucks. The D-pad is bad. Uh, it's the worst one. Uh. Gabo, this is new, right? The grips right here, like the little black rubber no. grips. No, 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 because the Elite version two. I'm not talking. I'm not talking Elite. Yeah, but well, does the standard controller have this Xbox? One? Uh yeah, there's a couple that has it. Oh, like the recons. I th oh, there you go. There they yeah. are. Yeah, I think I do know which ones you're talking about. Remember that I sent you a picture? Might be the short so, one, too. So the LB, the LB with the rubber, that's a new one. That's new. Let me see. Let me get to it for you. Go back to the first picture. There you go. There's that and there's Tung, this. Tungi, yeah. You see the LB? That's yes, new. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's amazing. I, I have to say, obviously, I'm, I'm not going to say, oh, Xbox did some crazy change. No, they didn't really do much. No, they had, the, they had the shirt button. Improvements. I don't use it, uh, but I know Neither. there's people there's people that use it. But I think it's something I don't know that's new and the D pad. Uh, I never, to be honest, I never have issues with the regular D pad on really? the Xbox One controller. Never, never. Ah. I have I have issues with the PS4 One. You just have issues. Oh yeah, of course. Right now, that, Gabo, I am gonna too. attempt. 
I'm going to attempt something and let's hope it works. I'm gonna try to get sound right here because I wanna show you a trailer. I kinda wanted to do something different, show a trailer for a new indie game and let's see what we think of it. Let's do it. You down for that? Let's see if this works. Hopefully this audio works and doesn't go crazy. It's my first time trying this. Uh, it is for a game called Rocky. I don't know anything about it, but let's try it. Tell me if you can hear this, Gabo. Ready? Yeah. Can you hear yeah, that? Yeah, I can hear it. Okay, yes. here we go. Let's watch. Yes, do that. There you go. I've not watched this yet either. The wolf is cool up there. Alice in Wonderland, bro. That's what that reminded me of. Rocky. Well, they didn't really say much about yeah. it. What do you yeah. think? I, I'm not saying it's good or bad. I, I haven't watched that. I just wanted to throw something out, try something different, see what people think. It looks interesting, but I need to see gameplay. I'll say nothing. Nothing uh, stood out to me like crazy. Yeah. Well, you know? good graphics. Cool interest, graphics. Interest graphics. I wonder if that fox up here is Roki. I definitely like that little clip where it looked like, uh, what do you call it? Alice in Wonderland right there? Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Rocky. That's cool. Otherwise, I know, is it Rocky or Roki? I'm not sure. Or Roku. Whatever. Whatever. He, Gabo. Come on, show, that... an, sh sh show another trailer oh we're just gonna end up let's see if this one gets demonetized first <laughs> why because i don't that's you don't know how the internet works bro okay 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 so, uh one one more trailer quick look what? for uh ghost or chishima you're trying to get me demonetized here bro really yes oh okay just put a ricky picture there and that's what, it. a ricky yeah no, we're gonna we're gonna see. Let's see. Actually, you know it's funny when people, when I say demonetize. Let me make this clear. I could care less if the video gets actually demonetized because we don't do this for money. Clearly, <laughs> but um, sometimes you can get like a straw. I don't know how that works because I've never really been one to like to react to trailers. So I'm gonna see how that works. See if you get like a, a, a not a slap on the wrist or if you get like a. I don't care if it gets demonetized. We don't make money because they don't make money anyway. <laughs> so that's pay not care about. Old payment is your happiness. Yeah, our payment really is your happiness. And yeah, love or hate in the comments. And, oh yeah, and please unsubscribe yeah. and hit the no like button. Hit, hit the dislike. The dislike uh, button. I kind of like standing back here for it. Yeah, you just. You, I know you're showing your hoodie. Oh, you like that? Yeah, sh I should. You, you should I'm waiting for mine. Your, I'm oh, waiting for mine. And he has yeah. hoodie. Again, I think we make like, what, $2 if you buy one? So, whatever. Whatever. And remember, the happy. best the best controller for your life mm -hmm. is happiness. That it makes was no the, sense. It was like that? No. The happiness? No. Happiness is the best controller for your life. Something like that. No? It doesn't make sense? Really? Goodbye. See you, everybody. Bye. Right. Take care. Mm -hmm.